The sounds, the sounds of the Hammond organ were invented for churches as an alternative to expensive pipe organs. But this distinctive sound became so crucial to gospel music, Nick. Absolutely. It's all about the voices. If you know organs, the sound of the Hammond is instantly recognizable. It's an integral part of the black church and black history. Buckle up, y'all. It's time to go to church. They're the people who have shaped black history and culture throughout our society, instantly recognized as leaders who brought change for the betterment of all. But what about this? I heard this sound and I turned it up and I just loved it. It was this magnificent B3 organ. An instrument as sharp as a knife carving and creating sounds that are a staple of spiritual life in the black church. I heard it, but I felt it. On this communion Sunday at the First Church of Deliverance in Chicago, that feeling stirs deep in the soul and carries the voices of the congregation. The man behind the keys, the church's pastor, Reverend James R. Bryson Jr. To me, music is not based on what it sounds like. Music is based on who it's being sung to and for, right? Positive messages can be something in secular music or in what you call religious music. I think it's all the same. The sound is unforgettable, an unmistakable tune that is echoed throughout the secular and non-secular world alike. You may recognize it from the House of the Rising Sun by the Animals. And Light My Fire by The Doors. Two songs that topped the rock and roll charts in 1964 and 67 respectfully. But it was Booker T and the MG's 1962 hit, Green Onions that first introduced us to that unmistakable sound in mainstream music. A sound that until then had been as central to the black church as the pastor himself. Created in 1935, the Hammond V3 organ was an affordable and smaller alternative to massive pipe organs you usually heard in bigger churches. The Hammond offered tones that built a solid foundation of gospel music, a sound that shouted, we are praying and celebrating in the best and loudest way we can. It's a sound that'll save you, bro. Which is what brought me here. The church's original pastor, Clarence Cobbs, led one of the first congregations to feature the Hammond B3 organ. And it's also where Reverend Bryson first learned to play as a boy. It is a sound that I believe uh, really reaches the heavens. <laughs> And when you've got a great choir behind that sound or with that sound or in front of that sound, you're talking about heaven. The sound isn't as popular with younger people as it once was. Music and instruments that make it have changed. But with the Hammond B3's deep history rooted in the church and the rich sound and the joy it invokes from the push of each key and the stomp of every pedal, it's something Reverend Bryson and the black church will never get enough of. Medicine for the heart, with the power to lift spirits to the sky. <laughs> and if gospel music isn't your thing, there's always good old green onions and the rich sounds of Booker T. Well, the, the reason why we need to highlight this in black history is that it's intercepted with so many other music genres. Gospel Absolutely. music has inspired so many artists. And the music continues to change and evolve, and the pastor talked about that. He's like, but we will always find a way to infuse that organ if we can. Yeah, well, some of those songs, uh, Green Onions included, exactly. timeless. Thank you, Nick. Well, still ahead, News Nation is 